Hi teachers, I'm going to show you how you can add an interactive announcement on your Schoology course. This is one example in which you can have these icons that direct your kids to the most important information. If a student were to click on each of these icons, it will take them to another location. It could be a website or a folder that is already in your Schoology class. For example, here I'm going to click on um, a website and I'm added read theory because that's a website that I assign um, things to my students and when they click on it it simply takes them there or you can also link it to where it takes the students to another location that is already in your Schoology for example down here I posted in materials I posted this screenshot, I didn't title it, but it's it's a schedule of the week. And when the students click on schedule, it will take them to the peak of the week, which tells them what they have to do for the week. And no matter where they go in this Schoology, they will always see this announcement at the top. Here is another example of how you can use an interactive announcement. This one is more geared towards younger students or if your class is having a hard time finding their assignments. I know many of us teachers at the beginning of distance learning were getting asked by parents or students what they had to complete that day. If you do a hyperlinked announcement like this one, all students will have to do is click on each icon. Those circular icons actually take them to these folders in the bottom. However, I think the clip bar and colors really make this course a lot more kid friendly. So let's try it. If I were to click on Monday, it's simply going to open that Monday folder. But if we have younger students, these icons in the these folders in the bottom tend to be a little small. Or sometimes, you know, all of this is very new to parents and to students. So having something large like this that's very to the point will really help them not get lost in Schoology, be able to know exactly where they need to go on that day. All these templates that you're about to see are going to be free for you to download. Just click on the link below and you'll be able to edit them and upload them to your Schoology. Once you download the file, you're going to see a folder with the instructions. And here you can have the link to the video again and you'll see written instructions in case you need to follow step by step after watching the video. And you'll also see the folder with the other three templates. There is also another 10 templates available. You can also find the link for that under this video. Now what you're going to do is open PowerPoint and you're going to set up your page. What you're going to do is going to go to File, Page Setup, and you're going to type 8 times 2. Click OK, and it's going to look this size. Then open the folder of the template you want to use. I'm going to use the emoji one. All you have to do is drag it onto your PowerPoint slide and adjust the size and measurement to however you want. And then you're going to do the same thing for the icons like this. And you can organize them one by one however you want. Like this. Then you're going to add text. You're going to go to insert shapes and click on this box stretch it out to the size that you want first type you can type your name or the section name or subject or you can just simply click um, you can simply put announcements written on top and you can adjust to the size and font that you like I'm going to use this one if your name gets this line underneath make sure you Ignore that before you save it. And then you can do the same thing for each icon. And write either the days of the week or abbreviate them maybe if you have um, older kids. And I'm gonna center it. Something simple you can do um, is copy paste and then drag the boxes and then that way you can just go back and edit it
and then you can go back and change the okay so this is how i want my icons to look Okay, so once you're done creating your icons and your header and finalizing all of the fonts, you can go ahead and save each one. Before I move on, let me just say, you don't have to make each icon by the days of the week. You can do it however you like. For example, you can do subjects or important files that you want them to find quickly, websites that you use frequently, or differentiate the groups by level, anything like that. So let's go ahead and save them now. What you're gonna do is you're gonna drag everything that is selected there. Make sure you go all the way around so that it grabs everything. If you only do this, it's only going to get one side or maybe nothing at all. So make sure you get go outside of that box and grab everything. And you're going to click um, right click or use two buttons, however way you, you do that. And then click on save as picture. I'm going to label this header emoji and I want it to go to my desktop. Be careful, make sure you know where it's going. If not, you're not gonna be able to find it. So I'm gonna save it to my desktop as a PNG, save. And then it should be going right there to my desktop. And you're gonna do this for every single icon. Don't drag them all together. We're gonna do one by one. So I'm gonna do this one, icon one, save as picture make sure it's going to your desktop and title it something you're going to know what it is icon emoji one and it's going to save to my desktop so you're going to do this for every single icon okay so now i'm going to show you how we're going to link everything you're going to go to google docs you can also go to word but for me it's easier in google docs um, you're going to click on your app waffle, scroll down to docs, or you can simply type it in here in the search bar and then open up your Google Docs. What we're going to do first is set up a table, click on insert, table, five by two. We are going to merge the top. So highlight the whole top row and then click on Merge Cells. Okay, there we go. Now let's drag everything. If you see here on my desktop, I have everything here set up. I'm gonna drag the header and each icon. There we go. Now we're going to put the links. So depending on what you want to link up, whether it's a website or a folder in Schoology, you're going to have to go there first. So I'm going to go to my Schoology because I want to link my folders for the days of the week. That way it's easier for them to find. So I'm going to click on my first folder, which is Monday, highlight the top link, copy it, go back here and click on that Monday icon. Once you have it clicked, you're going to click on insert link and you paste there, apply. Let's try one more. Now I want to do Tuesday. I'm going to click on Tuesday, copy, and then click on Tuesday, insert, go down to where it says link and paste, apply. You're gonna do these steps for each day of the week or each icon or whatever website you're going to add. You're gonna do it for each icon. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to delete this box or make it look invisible. I think it looks a little bit nicer when it's white. What you're gonna do is click on that table and then right click and you're gonna go all the way down to table properties. And on table border, I'm gonna click on white. Okay, that looks a lot better to me. Now I'm going to copy the whole thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag from the bottom up in order to drag everything and right click, 
copy. Now we're ready to put in Schoology. So go to Schoology. You're going to go to Updates. And right here, you're going to paste it. You're going to click on that plus sign. Make sure you click on that bell or it won't be set up in the top. Click Post. And there you go. This is my announcement. And if I were to click on the icons, it takes me to that Monday folder. If I go to Tuesday, it takes me to that Tuesday folder. And that's how you set up an announcement. I hope this tutorial helped you. Don't forget to click on the link below this video to get your three free templates that I showed you today. There is also another link of 10 more templates that you can check out. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. I will be posting more teacher tutorials. Thank you for watching.